So we, we, we can't study spontaneous events because it's not controlled. We also can't put people in, uh, in real danger in an experiment because it would be un unethical. What we can do is see whether a telepathic experience is true or not. So there's several different classes of telepathy experiments that have been conducted over many years. And we know that uh, it, randomly selected strangers even who are introduced to each other and then go into a telepathy experiment where they are uh, separated by distance and by shielding. And one of them is given a target, typically a photograph or a video, uh, which are randomly selected from a large pool of possibilities. And they're told to mentally send that to their partner at a distance. Well, those experiments work. And we know that they work even better if the people are not chosen at random, but they're two friends who have an emotional bond uh, or they're identical twins or otherwise that uh, people who have reported that they are in telepathic rapport with each other from other experiences, they do a lot better than just choosing people at random. But the fact that you can choose people more or less at random and it still works suggests that all of us, at least at a subconscious level, are kind of scanning our surroundings in a telepathic way where we're able to pick up not so much the, the, uh, the words or thoughts, but the emotions, including uh, emotions and, and body issues like pain in the body, that seems to be going on at an unconscious level all the time. And so we pay more attention to it and we can check it when it happens to somebody that we can then call and say and check and say, what, what is happening because I'm getting a bad feeling. But that is probably happening all the time, everywhere. So if you wake up some morning and you're feeling angry or depressed or something, it might not be you. It, it's somebody else. And learning how to discriminate them between what's happening in, in your mental space versus somebody else, well, take some time. Mm -hmm.